Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGym007 and today we're looking at the Axel Ones plugin. So this is a really awesome but simple plugin which allows you to sell a chest full of stuff using a cell wand to make a little bit of money to spend on whatever you like. Now it's a really straightforward plugin. You can configure how much each block is worth in the config file. There's a few different types of cell ones. You can see there's three in front of me. So first of all, if we do the forward slash axe cell one command, there is only a few commands. There's the give and the reload. Uh, so if we go ahead and give myself one of the ones, you can see you can tab through uh, all three of them and just pick whichever one you want. Now there's three different kinds. The first one is the normal cell wand, which has a 1.0 multiplier. You can use it a hundred times and then it actually gives you the stats and how much you've made, which is kind of cool. We've got the unlimited cell wand, which is the same, just you can use it infinite times. And then we have the ender chest cell wand, which has a slightly higher multiplier and you can only use it on ender chests. So now that we've got that out of the way, what we can do is grab our normal cell wand, we can left click a container and this nice hologram is going to pop up and tell me how many items are inside and then what the cell price would be. So because each item in here is worth a dollar, it will give me $384. If I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and right click. There'll be a cool little effect, a hologram, and then we will have made $384 and then there will be no items left. Now if we use the ender chest wand we can go ahead and maybe pop some items in here and then if we left click this it's going to be $336 for only 128 items right click to sell. Now if I were to pop some diamonds in here and then left click you can see that it says nothing is sellable and that's because I have not configured how much a diamond is worth. So the last command is the reload command. If you change anything in the config file, if you change the price, you can do that command to update it in game. So here we are in the SMP control panel. You can see there's quite a few folders and YML files. We'll start in the config.yml. There's not too much in here. We've got the prefix and then we have the stacking mode. So this is where you can merge two different cell ones um, if they are both kind of half used and there are three different modes to choose from. And then if you do merge two of them, are you allowed to go over their usage limit, which is obviously 100? Can you go higher than that, yes or no? Then we have the number formatting, you can choose from a few different modes here too. And then the hologram, which looks pretty awesome, and how long it lasts for. So 60 ticks, which is gonna be three seconds. The prices.yml is the other important document we want to look at. And you can see there's only three items here. If you want to add a material, we want to go to this link here. And then what we can do is scroll down until we find an item we want, such as birch wood. Go ahead and copy and paste it onto a new line, add a colon and add an amount it's worth, so $2. Go ahead and hit save and then you can go ahead and reload. And then lastly, if we jump into the cell ones folder and go to normal, for example, we can customize what they are like. So the multiplier, the uses, obviously you can set that to infinity if you put a minus one there and a cooldown too, so you can't just go around spamming it. So here we are on this bigger page. You can see it's updated from 1.18 to 1.21. There is a useful wiki and discord if you need any help or have any questions so if you want to download it head over to the spigot page but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time